I've never taken creatine in my life until now. For the next 30 days, I'm going to be taking creatine to see just how effective it is at building muscle and increasing my strength, and the results are shocking. Now, what makes this video different from other videos that are just talking about creatine or doing other 30 day challenges is that I've been lifting for eight and a half years and I've never taken creatine in my life. So if I make progress, then you know that it's probably definitely creatine helping me out a little bit. So I'm gonna be measuring the effectiveness of creatine in three different ways. First, visual aesthetics and of course, physique changes. Then I'm also gonna be tracking my body weight. And thirdly, my strength in the gym. Right. So I'm gonna drop my mic here, so. Let's see where the body weight's at. 136.4. Now take those numbers, like the body fat stuff with a grain of salt, but we're gonna be using the same scale in 30 days, so we can't compare it as like a relative measure. And this is what the current physique is looking like. For the next 30 days, I'm gonna make an effort to make sure that I'm like pretty much following the same diet that I have been before, uh, same activity levels and everything, just to try to make it as pure of an experiment as possible and really see how much of an impact creatine will have on my body as an experience. Right, so Let's testing go. weight and physique is great and all, but what would be a test of creatine's effectiveness without a strength training portion, especially since most people take creatine because of the additional strength training benefit that it yields. So what we're gonna be doing to test this is I'm gonna be choosing five different exercises, incline double bench press, weighted pull-ups, barbell bicep curls, unilateral crossbody tricep extensions, and a machine lateral raise. We're gonna be performing them AMRAP style, so I'm just gonna choose a certain weight, do as many reps as possible today, and then 30 days, I'm gonna come back here, do the same exact thing, and see if I get more more reps than before. And of course, because I've been training for eight and a half years, there's not really gonna be an element of like newbie gains or anything that's gonna be interfering with this test. Yeah, I'm very excited to see how the next 30 days goes. Let's get to incline dumbbell bench press. Okay, so you might be wondering why I chose incline dumbbell bench press instead of barbell bench press. For me, it's a matter of like programming. I pretty much only do incline dumbbell bench. I don't really barbell bench anymore. I think it will be a better test of my actual strength. I'm more familiar with incline dumbbell bench press these days. And then in terms of weight, I'm gonna be using 80 pound dumbbells. Let the test begin. Beat eight in 30 days, same eccentric, but Frankie, I think it's your turn. All right, so next thing we're gonna be doing is weighted pull ups. Let me take my pump cover off of this. All right, so the weight we're working with is 90 pounds, two plates, two wheels, so roughly like 225 total. Let's see how much I can get. <laughs> hey, we're gonna count it. We're gonna count it. Maybe I can get eight. Next time. The goal is to completely smash our records in 30 days. All right, moving on to third exercise. 
Next one we're gonna be working with is Easy Curl Bar, 85 pounds. No momentum at all. I'm just gonna keep my peaches squeezed. Probably go for like a two second eccentric. Seven, seven reps. Not bad, not bad. I thought I had it. Right. All right, so third exercise done. We're gonna be moving on to cross body tricep extensions. It's gonna be the only unilateral exercise we test. I figured we might throw one in there. I'm gonna be using 25 pounds. Let's get it. Was that 10? I think that was 11. 11? Uh, I'm gonna have to go back in the clutch. We'll see what it is. I figure I'm gonna get a couple more of these. Weak side. Body tricep extension. Never done 25s on these before, so. Track, I'll, I'll track it when I actually edit the video. <laughs> What's up? Exercise down, now we're gonna move on to the fifth exercise. It's gonna be a machine lower raise. Let's get it. Alright, so we're gonna be using this old fashioned uh, lower raise machine. I was thinking about doing dumbbells, but it's very easy to cheat with dumbbell lateral raises, right? You can do partials and stuff. So I think it would be cleaner if we just do a machine. And this is a really nice machine. So, so you guys see, we're gonna be working with 80 pounds. Let's get it.
good. Six props. I'm definitely not doing 80, so. What do you want? I don't know. I'll try 70. I mean, the heavier the weight, the lower the reps, and the easier time we're going to have counting. <laughs> Six reps. All right, so those are the five exercises. We're gonna be coming back in 30 days. We'll see if we end up being stronger than before. Hopefully. Okay, here is the creatine we're gonna be using. Good old fashioned creatine monohydrate from my protein, of course. It's crazy, it's my first time ever taking creatine. 10 grams of creatine. So, you might be wondering about the loading phase. Now, usually people take 20 grams from, for the first week to reach full saturation, but instead, I'm only gonna be taking 10 grams, just because I hear that you can get some stomach discomfort. So what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much twice a day, either one in the morning, one after my workout, or one after my workout, and then one at night. First batch of creatine. Doesn't taste like anything, so. This can be blended pretty well with pretty much anything, I guess. If you want a good, cheap creatine, you can go with my protein creatine monohydrate. It's literally just creatine, there's nothing else in here. I was scared about getting like stomach discomfort if I loaded with 20 grams, but I haven't really experienced anything with 10 grams, so I think I'm gonna up my dosage to 15 grams of creatine, and that means I'll have to load it for around 10 days. So, we'll see what happens. All right, it's like day four of on creatine. So there's a lot of different types of creatine, but the only creatine you should be spending your money on is monohydrate. It is the cheapest, most researched, as well as the most effective form of creatine. Now this is a 2.2 pound bag, which is the size of like protein powder, and this is quite literally gonna last me probably years. Now I'm gonna down this. Today is the day, the results of taking creatine for 30 days. First, let me check my weight and my physique, and then we're gonna head to the gym for the strength test. So like 30 days prior, I took my weight completely faster in the morning with the same pair of shorts on, and the results are a little bit shocking. I was actually lighter. <laughs> 35.6, so I was lighter. I'm a pound lighter than I was a month ago when I first tried, but I think the reason being is my activity levels were higher this month, mainly doing a lot more cardio in the form of like playing basketball and stuff. But anyways, the takeaway from this though is that weight-wise, it didn't really impact much, so I wonder if my glycogen stores are actually fuller or maybe it's a combination of me getting leaner. Let's take a look at the physique to see if there's any difference. So comparing my physique with no pump, I feel like I pretty much look the same for the most part. Maybe I look slightly leaner 30 days after, but it could be the slight difference in how I'm posing as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments if you see any difference, but I do feel fuller anecdotally. On to the strength test, the part that really matters. I'm at the same gym, same exact bench, same exact weights. I'm even wearing the same outfit. Let's see if I get more than eight reps. That's what we're gonna be trying to be. Oh, nine reps. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so add a one rep. Frank, is your turn. <laughs> Exactly. There's 
shoulder, your shoulder's fucked, right? Yeah, all right, well, yeah. I think we kind of like over prepared for this. <laughs> Fatigue my CNS from the bench. How much was that? Oh my god. Does it even count as six? I, I don't know, I think that counts. I'm at least I tired today. Yeah. On to the third exercise. I swear to god, I feel like I look fuller. Oh. 85 pounds, I gotta beat seven reps. Here we go. Oh, it runs. I'll take it. I'll take it. What was that? Eight or nine? Huh? That was nine, wasn't it? No, the last one was ten. Really? Yeah. I gotta go back to the club. We'll, we'll look at my guys. <laughs> Did that count? Yeah, I counted. Clench for cheeks. That's what I did. <laughs> I got beat 11 with my right arm and 10 with my left. Whoa, whoa, Let's see if I can match that. So my right improved, my left did not. I got nothing to explain. <laughs> Thank you.
down to the last exercise. 80 pounds, I need to beat five reps in order to improve. Get it. I swept that. separately on Thanksgiving because I just hit 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Because of that, I wanted to run a giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away some Able Gear. So they sent this clothes, but I'm gonna be shipping it literally from my place straight to whoever wins. It is a bunch of different size small and extra small Able Gear. So if that fits you and you wanna enter in this contest, firstly, like this video. Secondly, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, and lastly, leave a comment on what are your thoughts on creatine and what other videos would you like me to make? This giveaway pretty much starts now as this video is uploaded and ends this Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. Then I'm gonna be announcing the winner in next Tuesday's video in the video description. So, happy Thanksgiving and thank you again. And those were the results. So even though I didn't gain any weight, I increased my rep max on three and a half out of the five lifts that I did. And Frank improved on two and a half out of the five lifts that he did, which is pretty solid progress given that I've been training for eight and a half years. I literally didn't do anything different. And just from taking creatine, I was able to achieve that in only 30 days, which really impressed me. And I think on top of that, from a qualitative perspective, I feel like I look fuller. Visually, aesthetically, I, I look better than before. What do you think, Frankie? I think you look more full. Yeah. Definitely in the arms. Yeah. But anyways, if you guys are interested in getting creatine, I recommend my protein's creatine monohydrate. It is very cheap and it's pretty much the most proven form of creatine. If you use my code right now, you can get 50% off, but wait, there's something else you need to listen up. If you use my code between November 25th, 9.30 a.m. EST to November 26th, 9.30 a.m. EST. So for those 24 hours, anything you order on my protein, you will also get a free tub of literally this, my protein dragon fruit clear way. Tropical dragon fruit, this is a great flavor. I think it tastes really good. If you guys, I've been raving about clear way for a while, so if you guys wanna try it, definitely use my code, code PATH, for 50% off, plus this, for free. But yeah, so experiment over. Frank, what should we do with this huge tub of creatine? I think, uh, I think we should keep going. See y'all in 60 days. <laughs> 